Welcome to my channel. I am going to do EXP 19 Access Chapter 2 Capstone International Foodies. I will solve this assignment step by step and you can get your assignment done by watching this video. If you want me to do your assignment, if you want me to do your complete course including Excel assignment, Word assignments, PowerPoint assignments and Access assignments, please contact me on WhatsApp or email that is showing at the bottom of the screen and you can get my email and whatsapp from the description of this video i will solve each and every single step in this video and you can get your assignment done by watching this video if you want me to do your other courses like accounting management finance information technology computer sciences all other writing assignment programming assignment as well you can help me for your complete courses as well so I will solve this assignment from step 1 to end. Please watch this complete video to get this assignment done. But I am here, just contact me and I will do this assignment for you. I will produce 100 out of 100 in this assignment. I can produce A grade for you in this course. So step number 1 is just about downloading the database file. So in step number 1 it is saying that download exp19 access chapter 2 cast on footage database file this is the database file that i have already downloaded this one this will be an empty file where we are supposed to apply all the instruction steps given in the instruction file and we will make this assignment in the final form to submit it on my it lab dashboard so i have already downloaded this one so we will move to step number two because step number one is just about downloading the file So it is saying that open the supplier excel workbook, examine the data and close the workbook. Open the product excel workbook, examine the data and close the workbook. So these are the two excel workbook that we got along with the assignment and we are supposed to import those excel workbook into our database to complete this assignment. So I have already downloaded these, let me show you. This is the product and the supplier excel workbook that we are supposed to use to do this assignment and to do this assignment. So next we are supposed to do, you will import two excel workbook that contains supplier and product information into the database. So that is what I am telling you that we are supposed to import the supplier and the product excel workbook into the database. So it is saying that click external tab, data tab, click new data source, point to form from file in the import link group and then select the excel. Navigate it and select the supplier excel workbook to be imported as a new table in the current database. So first we are supposed to import the supplier workbook. Then select the first row contains column heading, set the supplier ID, field indexed op option to yes but no duplicates, select the supplier ID as a primary key when promoted and name the table suppliers, do not save the import steps. So first we are supposed to import the supplier workbook, so let me import this one, for this we will go to our database file and then click on the external tab. Then after that click on new data source and from file and we are supposed to select the excel because we have a excel workbook. Now we will select our file that is the supplier workbook so we will select this one. So we have selected the supplier workbook after that click ok. So click OK. No first row contains column heading. We will check this box because it is required in the instruction. You can see that first row contains a column heading. So we will check this box and then click next. After that, the field name supplier RD index should be yes but with no duplicates. So we will select 
yes but with no duplicates then click next then now we are supposed to choose our own primary key so we will select this option choose my own primary key and we are supposed to use supplier id as a primary key so we will select the supplier id then click next then the name of table is given that should be the suppliers so it is already showing the suppliers click finish and now we are not supposed to save the import steps so don't check this box and click close so now you can see that we have imported the supplier table and first row contains the column heading and the primary key is supplier id so we have imported this table into the database that is all about step number 2 now we are going to move to step number 3 So step number 3 is import the product excel workbook set the product id index option to yes but no duplicates and select the product id as a primary key accept the table name product just like step number 2 where we imported the excel workbook the name squares now we are supposed to import the product excel workbook in the database after that we will make the index option Yes, but no duplicates. Then we will select our product ID as a primary key, and then we will name the table as a product. So let's go to the database file, and again click on the external tab, and now again click on new data source. So we are supposed to select the Excel workbook. So we will use the Excel option here. so we will select our excel workbook that is a product so select this one and click open so we have selected the excel workbook name product and click okay now we are supposed to so it is already selected we are not supposed to change this one click next and now index option should be yes but no duplicates so select yes no duplicates because it is mentioned in the requirement that index option should be yes but with no duplicates and click next now we are supposed to choose our own primary key so we will select the choose my own primary key option and we are supposed to use product id as a primary key and you can see that product id as a primary key click next now the name of the table should be the products it is mentioned you can see that so it is already showing the product so click finish and we are not supposed to save the import steps so don't check this box and click close so you can see that we have imported the product table first row having the column heading product as the product id is our primary key and we have imported both tables that is the product and suppliers so that is all about step number 3 so basically we have solved two steps that is step number 2 and step number 3 where we imported two table product and the supplier now we going to do step number 4 total steps in this assignment are 22 so now we are going to do step number 4 so it is saying that change the field size of the quantity per unit field to 25 in the design view of the product table so first we will open the product table in the design view then we will change the field size of the quantity per unit to 25 then set the field size of the product id and the category id to the long integer save the changes and open the table in data sheet view open the supplier table in the data sheet view to examine the data close the table so first we will open the product table in data design view so open this in design view now we are supposed to change the field size of the quantity per unit so this is the quantity per unit click in this box and then change the field size to 25 because it is mentioned in the instruction so i have changed the field size 
to the 25 for the quantity per unit and now we are supposed to change the feed size for the product ID and the category ID to long integer. So let me look for the product ID. So this is the product ID and the feed size for the product ID should be the long integer. So we will make this as a long integer. So select long integer. Then we are supposed to change the feed size for the category ID. That should be long integer as well. So I will select long integer for this one as well. So I have made these changes according to requirement. Now it is saying that save the changes and open the table in data sheet view. So now we will save this table and then click yes. It is giving us a warning some data may be lost. Click yes. Now we will open this in the data sheet view. So now it is saying that open the supplier table as well in the data sheet view. And that is all. Then we are supposed to close these tables. So right click here and close all. So that is all about step number four. Now we will move to step number five. So step number five is saying that create a new table in the design view. Add the following fields in the design view and set the properties as specified. So basically we are supposed to create a table in the design view and then we are supposed to add the field in the design view and set the properties for those fields as given in this step. So first we will create this table. So it is saying that add the primary key field as a category ID with the number data type. So first we list the category ID and the format should be data type should be the number and the number assigned to a new category as a description set the caption property to category id and save the table as category so let me create this table in the design view to create this table we will go to the create tab and click on table design so we will add the first field that is the category id so first field the category ID and the data type should be number because it is mentioned here data, data type should be number and then we are supposed to add the description so I will copy the description this is the description and we will paste in the description here so we are adding category ID that is the first field with the data type of number and the description is here. So then it is saying that set the caption property to category ID. So caption property should be the category ID. So we will go to the caption and we will type category ID. So this one and we are supposed to make this primary key. So select this one and click on the primary key. And you can see that primary key symbol is there. So we have added the primary key category ID with data type of number description there and the caption property should be the category ID. So this is all about step number five and now we are supposed to save the table as a category. So let's save this one. Click on save and name this as a category. And click OK. We have created a new table categories you can see that. So we are done with step number five. Let's move to step number six now. So step number six is add category name with the short text data type and name of the food category as the description. So now we are supposed to add a new field that is a category name data type should be the short text and description is given and field size for the for this new field should be 15 set the caption property to category name and required property to yes so let's add this field to the table that is the category name so we will go here and we will type category name this is the second category field that is a category name and data type is given that should be the short text so it is already selected as short text. 
Now we are supposed to add the description. So I will copy the description from here. And I will paste in the description box. This one. Then we are supposed to change the feed size to the 15. So let's change the feed size. This is the feed size. And we are supposed to make the feed size for this field to 15. And then we are supposed to add the caption. That is the category name. So we will add the caption that should be the category name. And then required property is no. And we are supposed to make this yes. So select yes for this one. So this is all about step number six. So we have completed six steps so far. And I have shown you these six com complete steps. You can complete those six steps by watching this video. Now let's move to step number seven. So step number seven is saying that add category description with the long text data type. So we are supposed to add a new field that is the category description and data type should be the long text and set the caption property to category description. Switch to data sheet view and save the table when promoted. You will enter category data into the table in next step. So let add the category description third field. So category description. So this is our third field and the data type is given that should be the long text. So we will change the data type to the long text. And then we are supposed to add the caption for this that should be the category description. So go to the caption and type category description. So we have added the description for this one. Now we are supposed to open this table in the data sheet view. So click data sheet view. You must first save the table, click yes. So you can see that there are three fields that is the category ID, then the category name and the third one is category description. So now we are supposed to add the data to this table in step number eight. So we have completed seven steps so far. And now I'm going to do step number eight. So you will add eight records to the category table so that you have some sample data to test in the database. So now we are supposed to add these records into the table. So let's do this one now. So I will just copy the data from here and I will be pasting it. We are not supposed to enter the category ID because access will automatically assign the category ID to these data. So first is the category name that is the beverage. So type it here. Then the category description. Basically we are adding the records to this table. Number two should be this one. Number three should be this one. So I'm just copying the records from the inspection file and pasting in the database. Number four should be dairy products. So number four should be dairy products. 
and the description of this one. Then the fifth one is Graves. Then the sixth one. So you can type the data there as well, but I'm just copying from the instruction file and pasting there. Now the seventh one. And category ID should be summer. This one. Then the last one that is the eighth one. So we have added eight records to the category table that are mentioned in step number eight we were supposed to add those eight records into the table so i have added eight records and then it is saying that close the table and we are done with step number eight so i will simply close this table and we will save the records so that is all about step number eight and we have completed eight steps so far so let's do step number nine now Add the three tables, the relationship window, identify the primary key fields in the category tables and supplier table and join them with your foreign key counterparts in the related product table. Select the enforce referential integrity and cascade update related field checkboxes. Save and close the relationship window. So basically we are supposed to create the relationship in step number five and step number nine. For this, we will go to create and then we will open the relationship window. After that, we will add these three tables and then we, then we will create the relationship. So let's go to the relationship window, go to the database tool and click relationship. So all these tables are there. So we will resize them to see the name of the fields in the table. So these are three tables. Now it is saying that identify the primary key field in the category tables. So category table has a primary key of category ID and the product table has a category and sorry category table and the supplier table. So let me replace them like this one. So category table has a primary key of category ID and the supplier table have a category, have a primary key of supplier ID. So now we are supposed to join them to the counterparts. So we will join this category ID. So we will join this category ID to the category ID in the product table. So we will drag it to the product table. So we are supposed to enforce the referential integrity for this relationship and also cascade update field that is mentioned in the requirement. Enforce the referential integrity and the cascade update related field checkboxes. So check this and create this relationship. Now we are supposed to create the supplier ID that is a primary ID in the supplier table that is a primary field primary key and we will drag this to the product table to the in front of supplier ID. So we will 
and force the differential integrity for this one and the cascade of rate P. So let me repeat it again. First, we identified the primary keys in the category table and the supplier table. So the primary key in the category table is the category ID and the primary key in the supplier care table is the supplier ID. Now we are supposed to create the relationship to their counterparts in the product table. So category ID, we are joining this to the category ID in the product table and the supplier ID, we are joining this to the supplier ID in the product table. So we have created those two relationship in step number five. So it is saying that save and close the relationship window and then we are done with step number nine. So we have completed nine steps so far. Now I will save this one and then we will close the relationship window. So close this one. So we have completed nine steps so far. So basically total steps in this assignment are 20 and I have shown you nine steps. Let me show you one more step. Then for the remaining steps, I will just give you an overview and then you can complete those 10 steps. So step number 10 is add the product name, supplier ID and the category fields from the product, save the query and so basically we are supposed to create a query in step number 10. And for this, we will use a simple query wizard to create this query. So let's go to the database file, then click on the create tab now we are supposed to use the query wizard. So click on that. So simple query wizard RZ is already selected and click next or OK. So now we will use a query of all products that you imported in the say food category. So add the product name, supplier ID and the category field from the product table. So I will use the product table from here. So select products, this one. Now we will start adding the fields. The first one is the product name, then the supplier ID. So product name is here. Select this and click this arrow. And then the supplier ID, click this arrow. So we have added two fields, that is the product name and the supplier ID. Then I will add the third one, that is the category ID. So let me add this one as well, click this arrow. So we have added three fields from the product table, that is the product name, Splair ID and the category ID. And now we are supposed to save this query as a save food, seafood products. So click next and save the query. What title? So it should be seafood products. Seafood products. So click finish. So you can see one query in the query section that we have just created that is the seafood products that have three fields from the product table that is the product name, then the supplier ID and the product ID. So we have created this one that is all about step number 10. So basically I have shown you 10 steps for this assignment. Now I am going to give you an overview for the remaining steps so that you can complete this assignment. But if you want me to do this assignment for you, you can contact me on WhatsApp or email that is showing at the bottom of the screen. Please contact me. I will do this assignment for you. I will produce 100 out of 100 in this assignment for you. Let me give you an overview for the remaining steps as well. So in step number 11, it is saying that add a criteria in design view to include only products with 8 as a category ID. So you can see that I have already done this one and the category is 8 for all the product. So you can see 8 as a category ID. So we are we were supposed to show only the product with the category ID of 8. So I have done this one. So next step is step number 12. Sort the query in ascending order by the product name, run and save the query. So I have already sorted this one. I run this and save saved it as a seafood product. So this is our first query that we have created. Then in step number 7 and 13, we are supposed to create a new query that is seafood or meat poultry. So we will just make a copy of the seafood product query and we will paste it using the seafood or the meat poultry as the query name. This is step number 13. And then step number 14 is open the seafood or meat poultry query in the design view and delete the category ID column. This is step number 14. 
and then step number 15 is add the category table to the top pane of the query design window add the category name field to the last column of the design grid and set the criteria as seafood or meat poultry design and save the query so step number 13 14 and 15 these three steps are just related to one query that is seafood or meat poultry so i have created this query and let me show you the final result for this seafood or meat poultry query so this will be the final version for the seafood or meat poultry query so step number 13 and 15 uh, and 14 are shown in this so that i am just giving you for the remaining step giving you an overview for the remaining steps because i have shown you complete 10 to 11 steps so step number 16 is again we are supposed to create a query in the design view that includes the supplier and the product tables the query should list the company name contact name phone and then the product name and the product cost so step number 16 and then step number 17 sort the query by the company name in ascending order then product cost in descending order and then we are supposed to run the query and save as the company by product list so step number 17 and 16 are just related to one query that is a company by product list so i have already created this company by product this one so i have done this one you can see this query i have created this one so this is the final version for this query so let's move to step number 18 where we are again supposed to create a query that is summary of company by product uh, sorry uh, some, yes summary of the company by product then step number 19 is we are again linked to the step number 18 and step number 20 18 and 19 are linked to the company by product summary of company by product query this one so i have created this one and this is the final version for this query so i have shown you 11 complete steps i solved in this video you can complete those steps for the remaining steps i just gave you an overview so that you can complete this assignment but if you want me to do this assignment for you you can contact me on whatsapp or email that is showing at the bottom of the screen i can do this one so final version will have three tables to Two of them that is the product and supplier we imported from the excel workbook then the third one is the category that we created then this assignment will have four queries that will be the company by product then the seafood or meat poultry then the seafood product and the summary of company by product so this is the final version of assignment I have shown you but if you want me to do this assignment for you just contact me on whatsapp I can do this assignment for you I can do this complete course for you including excel assignment word assignments powerpoint assignments and all other assignments you can hire me for your other courses like accounting management finance information technology and computer sciences as well so let me show you the grade for this assignment you can see that x is chapter 2 capstone Today's, so I have done this for one of my students, I just submitted it and my student got 100 out of 100 and you can see the grade for this assignment. So if you want to get this score that is 100% just contact me on WhatsApp or email that is showing at the bottom of the screen. I will produce 100 in this assignment for you. If you want me to do your other assignment like accounting, management, finance or word assignments or powerpoint assignment just contact me and i will do your assignment thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like my video thank you so much again